Bill Gates has financed a nuclear reactor in Wyoming that just started construction. It's the first of its type, and I've had a look at what's new about it. Before I talk about the new reactor, a big thank you to all our supporters on Patreon, especially those of you in Tier 4 and higher. This channel would not be possible without your help. And you too can help us. Go check out our Patreon or join us right here on YouTube. The new reactor comes from the company TerraPower and they call it a natrium reactor. Natrium is the Latin and German name of the chemical element Na that's called sodium in English, which is why, confusing absolutely no one, the key element of the natrium plant is a sodium-cooled fast reactor combined with an energy storage system. That it's a fast reactor doesn't mean it runs across Wyoming, it means it uses fast neutrons. Fast reactors use fuel that's more enriched in radioactive compounds. They can also recycle nuclear waste, in particular plutonium. That it's sodium cooled means what you think it does. The energy that's created in the nuclear reaction is carried away by the sodium and then used to generate electricity. This also cools the reactor. One uses sodium because that has a high boiling point and can transport a lot of heat. It has the additional benefit that it does doesn't catch too many of the fast neutrons because that could impede the reaction. Sodium cooled fast reactors have been around for a while. The new thing about this one is that it comes with a built in energy storage. You see, rather than creating energy from the hot sodium directly, they can transfer the heat from the sodium to a molten chloride salt and store that in a big tank. Then they can create the electricity later from that hot molten salt. This does of course reduce the efficiency because some energy gets lost in the conversion and storage, but hot molten salt has a very high storage capacity. The heat loss can be as low as a few percent per day. And it has the added benefit that this nuclear power plant can effectively ramp up and down the electricity output very quickly. Now, contrary to myth, conventional nuclear power plants can ramp up and down, but they weren't designed to do it and so it's not very efficient. Most of the currently operating nuclear power plants are what's called a pressurized water reactor. You can slow their nuclear reaction by putting boric acid into the water. This this takes up some of the neutrons, so that creates less energy per time. A nuclear chill pill, so to speak. Newer types of nuclear fission reactors have control rods that can block some neutrons and slow down the chain reaction. That way you can ramp down nuclear power plants to 50% or so by something like 5% per minute optimistically. It's not great, not only because that's not an efficient use of the fuel, but also because the temperature changes cause contraction and expansion and not all components do that the same way which creates stress on the material and so on. So while it's incorrect to say that nuclear power plants can't be ramped down, it's correct to say that they're not good at it. Kind of like Windows gets slower booting up every time you use it. So I assume Gates is familiar with the problem. Gas power plants, in contrast, can be ramped up and down very quickly by 15 or even 20% per minute just by adjusting the amount of gas burned. The new reactor in Wyoming gets around this problem by not ramping up and down the reactor itself, but by not always converting the energy directly into electricity. If the grid doesn't need the electricity, they park the reactor output as thermal energy in this molten salt. This means that such a reactor can even out grid fluctuations caused by fluctuations in wind and solar. This will work on the scale of hours or maybe even days, but the storage is isn't efficient enough to make sense for longer periods. One thing one could do for longer storage is to produce hydrogen and store that. This will reduce the efficiency even more, but I guess better electricity produced with low efficiency than none at all. The new plant in Wyoming is designed to generate 345 megawatts and, if all goes according to plan, should begin operation by 2030. If successful, the project could position natrium technology as a cornerstone in future energy infrastructure. A future that Germany will miss out on. 
But hey, who needs reliable power when you have lederhosen and beer? Artificial intelligence is everywhere and it's learning to code. It isn't hard to predict that this is going to become a major safety problem for internet browsing soon. Or maybe it already has, it's just that we haven't heard of it. That's why I use NordVPN. NordVPN is an app that makes your internet connection ultra secure. You install it on your phone or laptop and use it to create a safe connection. With NordVPN, no one can spy on your data or track your whereabouts. And it also comes with a threat protection that keeps you safe from malware, trackers and malicious ads. It doesn't just protect your privacy, it also makes your life easier. You know how some content is blocked for users in certain locations? For example, if you're in Europe, a lot of pages in the United States have become inaccessible in recent years because they don't comply with European privacy regulations. That can get really annoying. But well, NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers all over the world. Just pick a server in the United States Problem solved. You can make use of our special offer if you use the link nordvpn.com slash Sabine or the coupon code Sabine. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.